Hi guys, it is a gorgeous day here in paradise in the rainforest of St. Croix Virgin Islands here on Tuesday morning, December 29th, 2015. And in lieu of my wacky conspiracy theory rant, since the conspiracy theories were just too wacky to even rant about this week, I'm going to just turn your attention to a video that I'm sure I've stumbled on before by my Humpty Dumpty tribe, probably number one Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Terrence McKenna. Terrence McKenna, and, and in this video, this 10 minute video, I'm gonna play a couple of minutes of it, uh, Terrence McKenna asks the mushroom god how to save the planet. Terrence McKenna interviewing the mushroom god living inside a psilocybin mushroom. What is the best way to save the planet? And this is what the mushroom god told Terrence. And Terrence is now going to tell you. I once said to the mushroom, how can we save the world? Somebody had challenged me in a group like this. They said, why don't you ask it how we can save the world? Which I had never been being sort of an oblique thinker. It had never occurred to me to be so blunt with it. But the next time I found myself with it, I said, how can we save the world? And without a moment's hesitation, it said, each person should parent only once. Okay, I'm going to break into Terrence. Uh, I, I'm not, uh, far be it from me to put words into Terrence McKenna or the mushroom god's mouth. Uh, he keeps referring to this about one person parenting one child. I think, I think what the, uh, just to correct the math of the mushroom god and Terrence McKenna, I think he's saying each couple parent one child, I think. That's according to my math, uh, what, what he's referring to, one person, parent, one child, and one couple. But anyway, short of that, uh, continue on, but of course my cursor does not want to work. Okay, back to the mushroom god. Uh, this is an astonishing idea. This is not zero population growth. This is population falling by 50% every 20 years from here on out. Uh, if, if, uh, if people in the high-tech industrial democracies would limit themselves to one child, uh, almost immediately the destruction of the Earth's ecosystems and resources would halt. We preach population control in the third world, but the statistics show that uh, to a woman in the first world who has a child, that child will consume between 800 and 1,000 times more resources in the course of its lifetime than a child born in Bangladesh or some other third world place. So if, if we were to practice this one person, one child, policy uh, in the first world democracies, uh, there would almost immediately be a visible slackening of the pressure on resources and population. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and he goes on from there, uh, cheering on China's one child policy, which of course was officially rescinded on Sunday, officially rescinded. There was no more one-child policy, I guess, anywhere on the planet. So, bad news, Terrence. It's all over. You know, I'm going to listen. Let's listen to a couple more minutes of, of this. I'll put the link on it so you can listen to all ten minutes. But uh, the bear is repeating, so I'm going to listen to a couple more minutes. Population is the, is the thing which is driving everything over the edge uh, and is not 
not allowing any time for full reflection about land use, implementation of technologies, the political directions we want to go in, because everywhere, you know, you, know, you just hurl money at problems like uh, sanitation, detoxification of land, education of children, uh, cleaning up of water supplies, extension of early primary education, and so forth and so on. No matter how much money you throw at these problems, you see no progress because it's all dragged down by burgeoning populations. So, uh, and it's interesting, I've always felt that the way to solve social problems collective social problems is to find solutions which advance the agendas of individuals. In other words, some version of enlightened self-interest. And if you think about this one person, one child... One couple, thing, one child. What we're saying is uh, how would you like to have increased leisure time, increased disposable income and the sincere gratitude of humanity uh, by uh, volunteering to limit your your procreative activity and I there you go now I don't know how many kids Terrence had I know he had one I'm sure he had one whether he had two I don't know but anyway there you go. Terrence, we miss you. I would love to have heard his comments on uh, on China. On China canceling its one child policy. But this is your old childless eco Nazi heading back into the jungle. Leaving Terrence behind and heading back into the jungle to see what trouble I can stir up today. Bye, guys.